Basically, Sharing Life is an outreach center that helps 35,000 to 40,000 people a year with just their basic needs, with um, food, clothing, um, providing them hotel rooms if they need it. Uh, they do all kinds of things, working with like TXU Energy to help people pay their electric bill and things like that. They work with lots of people in the community and work with lots of uh, businesses as well as churches to raise money. And this is their facility that was in great need of of uh, remodeling and basically well, today we're just going to talk a little bit about what we did to improve uh, the shelter. This hallway is their main hallway for um, taking the shopping carts full of food and clothing to the, to the clients. And so what would happen is volunteers would bring shopping carts through here and they'd hit the walls. And so what we did is we put up some uh, FRP to make it when the walls were run into that it doesn't mess up the sheetrock or the paint. So this area just general, generally that's what we tried to do is really spruce up um, that area and make it more functional. This uh, tile was, the tile came out to about right over here and kind of went across and then all the rest was linoleum. And so what we did is, is make this all tile out here and really spruce up this area. We also put um, tent on the windows it blocks out 85% of the, the sun's heat, so it makes it cool in here and makes it more comfortable for everyone to work. In this room, basically, we did paint, uh, tile, we put in the new base, we took all the windows and painted them white. They were um, a dark brown stain and just made it a lot more clean and functional. Uh, there was once again lots of sheetrock damage and a wall wallpaper border. The other offices were very similar in what we did. They had uh, real bright colors. This was a sunshine yellow. Uh, there was like a fuchsia in another office and then like a lime green. So we just really spruced everything up and made it look really nice. One of the real needs at Sharing Life was shelving and storage space. They had some real old shelving that was falling apart, particle board that was bowing from the weight of books and stuff. So we bought new storage shelves for them to put in the offices and into the hallway for books. And um, as you can see out here, we got three bookshelves right here. And you know, one of the really nasty things about the before was this area here where the phone stuff was, it was all just exposed. And so we went ahead and built a cabinet to cover all that up. This bathroom um, was obviously uh, a huge mess and it might have been fine for like a warehouse or something like that with the sink and the type of sink they had plus they had a baby changing table over here. So this is one of our favorite areas because it's just such a transformation where we were able to put in the real nice sink with the um, cabinet, the matching mirror and then we were able to put in a baby changing table that folds down from the wall as there was a actual changing table that took up about probably 25 to 30 percent of the space in this bathroom but you know this basically just encapsulates everything we wanted to do in making everyone feel uh, much more hopeful being able to come in and feel like this is a place where I know that I'm heading somewhere um, that's going to be good for me in my life and uh, we've gotten a lot of compliments from the staff saying that the clients that come through um, that they just feel so much more um, at peace and, and they feel so much more hope because you know sharing life that's what they're about helping people with dignity and we feel like we've really improved their um, opportunity to do that. Well, this has been the tour of phase one of the sharing life renovation. Um, we'll be starting phase two which is on the other side it's the offices and the food pantry area um, here in a couple of three months but just want to make sure you guys don't want to miss out on this opportunity it's been such a um, life-changing opportunity for me and all the other volunteers that were able to make it out and help. So uh, if you guys have a chance to make it a priority and come out, we'd love to have you. And it really is just uh, a life-changing.